We now have the story of an uh, what sounds like an attempted kidnapping that ended here in East Grand Forks on this Friday evening. We just reported that a female had uh, posted on her Facebook page about what happened, but it was actually the uh, the uh, fiance of the actual victim, a male victim who had made that post, and we now have him uh, on the phone to tell us what happened. Yeah, so I uh, had just gotten off of work, um, went to go pa- uh, get a pack of cigarettes from the gas station across the mission. Um, this guy, after I'd gotten my cigarettes and went back to my vehicle, this guy had approached my vehicle and knocked on the window. And I had cigarettes. And this was, was in Grand Forks then, when you said across from the mission? Yeah, yep, Grand Forks, the Valley Dairy right across from Grand Forks there. Okay, all right. Yeah, and... Um, he had knocked on my window. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to, to my surroundings, but I just assumed as a homeless guy going to ask for a cigarette. I was going to give him a cigarette, but um, he ended up telling me, uh, asking me for a ride. And I said, well, I'm going home. I can't give you a ride. And then he had proceeded to say, uh, well, what if I make you? And um, he then uh, tries to reach for his waist and tells me he has a 38 on him. So then okay. I was like, well, there's no need for... Uh, no need for all that. I was like, I can just give you a ride, you know. So he gets in my vehicle, um, then tells me he's got to go to Halstead, which I was like, well, that's too far for me. And then again, he says, well, how about I make you? And then reaches for his waist again. I was like, okay, all right, it doesn't have to be that serious. So I end up calling my um, fiance at the t- I call my fiance, and she um, convinces me just to come home because we live in East Grand Forks, just across the Point Bridge. So she convinced me to. Um, come home and when I came home I came in the I left the vehicle told me I needed to go talk to somebody um inside the house quick and I came inside and she called the cops and the cops were I think out there for 45 minutes I think doing a standoff outside yeah kind of having a little standoff out there okay so it took a while to they did they do you know if he actually ever had a gun um, no, they said they didn't find anything. Um, they found a couple of knives, I think. So I think they found one on him and one in our backyard. Cause he actually got out of the vehicle before the cops showed up and, um, okay. he got out, disappeared and then got back in the vehicle. All right. And then the cops showed up and it was kind of a standoff for 45 minutes because they don't know whether or not he's got a gun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so it was a pretty scary deal, or you weren't too worried about it, or? Um, honestly, I was, I was, I, I blanked out at the moment and wasn't too sure what to go on, other than just I'm trying to make it home. That was it, you know. And and he made it home safely after a uh, scary or- ordeal. Uh, police uh, arrested a man. We're still waiting to hear from them uh, to get more uh, specifics on who this was and possible charges and all this. Uh, we'll keep you updated. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.